the person that attacked me had put my put her foot against my back, um, stood behind me um, at the entrance of the door, so there was no way for me to leave that house. Um, she then started pulling on my hair, pulling me backwards, verbally abusing me, um, threatening me, telling me that I couldn't leave, telling me that I have to do do what she says, basically. She was then put into a different room by another person in the house, um, which then gave me a, my opportunity to leave. A relative then climbed out the window of the front of the house and then chased me down the pathway and as doing so she was shouting um, verbal abuse at me and threatening me. It's a very scary moment because you don't know what's going to happen next. You can't anticipate anyone's actions um, such as in this situation because I didn't actually realise that was going to happen and all of this was going to escalate to what it did escalate to. Um, and then once leaving the house and being again threatened outside and verbally abused outside it was still such a scary moment for me. I don't think... It took me a couple of hours afterwards to quite bring myself back together and to actually truly accept what has happened I think the after effects of that are being able to trust people again you walk into that house of a patient and that level of trust is now lowered and it's going to take a little while for that to start to come back up again